Well, thanks again, everybody, for coming to NCR and welcome. Welcome to NCR and welcome to uh, Midtown, um, our new home at NCR here. I'll um, try not to take up too much time, but I wanted to share a couple things with you guys and then turn it over to um, Peter and Prince to really show you the cool stuff that um, the team's been working on. But I uh, felt it right to uh, share a little bit on uh, a little bit of history on NCR. Uh, NCR's vision, mission, purpose, fast facts, real fast. I'll try to go fast. Again, get to the cool stuff. Uh, smart services, our purpose. Share a little video with you guys. As opposed to um, continue to pontificate and, and uh, share slides. I'll get you guys a little video, and then a small um, view of our Tableau journey. So again, my name is Stephen Huntsman. I own our global services um, business intelligence team. Uh, been in that role since January 2015. Um, multiple roles before that in uh, at NCR. I've been here 19 years. Uh, the, you know, the area we'll touch on in delve on is our services business, and I'll elaborate a little bit more on that. So a little bit of history. In 1879, a saloon keeper, James Riddy, created the cash register. Invents the world's first cash register. The device automatically records sales, first time ever. 1884, first customer was John H. Patterson, the founder of NCR. He did not invent the cash register. He purchased the cash register from James Ray. Saw the value in it, in his own usage of this innovative solution of record keeping transactions. Reduced his debt, generated profits in like six months. He's like, I'm going to buy the company. Bought a national manufacturing company, which then turned into national cash register. First company to market a product called the inc incorruptible cashier. Cash register, but incorruptible cashier was the phrase in 1884, so 134 years ago. Um, prevents employees from pocketing cash. Um, few businesses appreciate the value of that. So he also had to generate the demand, right? So moving into 1880s, credited with pioneering modern salesmanship. Actually, some of the first salesmanship documentation comes from NCR. And this is actually a, a tent in Dayton, Ohio. Things are much different now when we're onboarding salespeople. It's not out the outdoors in a tent. Um, but you know, pretty interesting and connect the dots to that, that history of salesmanship in you know, 1880. Standard practice today, but you know, sells the world the need of a receipt. Some folks, I don't want a receipt to kill trees. But, but this was you know, pretty big innovation back then. You know, that you should have a receipt with every transaction. 1906, I'll start speeding up, um, don't worry. Charles F. Kettering, uh, employee, develops the first electrical cash register, then goes on to GM and creates the starter for a car. Pretty cool. Um, one million cash registers sold in 1911. The son of John H. Patterson, founder, the, takes the company public in 1926. At the time, one of the largest public stock offerings at the time. Fast forward a little bit because we would have to wait to make slides in 134 years. I wouldn't do that to you. 1974, first commercial barcode. One of the first things that was scanned was a Wrigley stick of gum. Automated teller machines, early 1970s, moving out of the cash register, what opened the aperture up to other areas, you know, we can innovate in. Teradata. Also, you didn't know, AT&T bought NCR at one point, probably two or three years, I don't think it was even that, split back off. But during that time, also purchased a company called Teradata. So connect the dots, if anybody was wondering, in that, what do I connect to and what's Aster? That's the company, you know, that is, that, is that Aster database is one of the solutions they provide. That was in 1991. 
2003, NCR's granted a patent for signature capture. Self-checking machines. Well, you can do the self-checkout machines, but the self-checking machines you see at an airport, we bought a company in 2004 um, leading that, um, that market. 2007, we actually spun off Teradata, one of the most successful tax-free spinoffs. It wasn't a core competency in our business at that time. Data is important. We understand it's the new oil today. But that time, it was the right decision to spin off so NCR can focus on its core businesses. A couple fast facts, vision, mission, purpose, enriching the world's interactions today, innovating and enabling the next generations of consumer experience and productivity gains, and our purpose, we power incredible experiences that make life easier. Scale, I'm not gonna drain these slides. A couple things I'll call out. 6.5 billion in revenue. 65% of that is from software and services. So make, folks make traditionally think hardware business, ATMs, cash registers. 65% of the revenue is dri driven by services and software. So we'll connect it off a little bit more on, on uh, the services side, the area we're in. 700 million transactions a day. 20,000 service professionals out there fixing products and, and support. We sell electrical mechanical equipment, things break. Someone's got to fix it. <clears throat> we do that in 90 countries. Some other fast facts, I'll just stick to the bottom section. Six out of the top 10 mobile banking apps you would use today, powered by NCR. Again, not just hardware. Software, services. Three million services requests, what we call a cry for help when something breaks, we actually fix that remotely based on information we can see, connectivity to our machines. So we don't have to send an engineer out there with a part to go fix that, which causes more you know, downtime for our customers and then us as end consumers when we're sitting in front of that ATM. 3,500 people just in our software in engineering team. So as opposed to showing you guys any more slides, I'll just share you a video of uh, smart services and kind of give you a little bit more color of the area of business we're, we're in. Um, Do you hear that? That's the sound of growing up. That's the sound of an apology. And that's the sound of a trip they'll never forget. But to us, that's the sound of commerce. The heartbeat of our world. And our job is to make sure it never stops. That's why when they're sleeping, these machines around the world are still running. Driven by our dedication to our customers, we're always on. So they can be too. That's why we work behind the scenes and stay ahead of the curve. Answering each call with the knowledge, solutions, courage, and integrity that keep this, this, and this working. Because to us, each transaction, experience, scan, click,
Pretty cool, huh? Um, I always try to you know, explain to my kids what I, what I do. I sit in front of a computer every day, push buttons. Um, but you know, I shared that with them. Oh, I kind of get it now. I kind of get it. And so it's a very um, profound video to kind of connect those dots in a, in a um, meaningful way. Last slide, and I'll turn it over to Prince and Peter. Just connect the dots to our um, Tableau journey. And for me, in particular, here at NCR, 2015 um, is really when my journey started with you know, Tableau and, and uh, basically using the forecasting function in Tableau. That was my initial charter. And I, I don't know, raise the hands, how many people are using the forecasting feature in Tableau? Probably should be more. Should be some more. I, I think there's extremely, you know, a great deal of value in that tool. Um, we, we actually use it to help predict when things are going to break. How do we forecast what's going to break next month, next quarter? Um, we've also looked at other solutions out there, and you know, early days and, and even to today, still a great use case um, in in forecasting and planning in our in our business. Course turns into exploratory. So moving from forecasting and planning of when we think things are going to break, what time was associated with them, workload versus workforce, continue to get asked questions. Well, can you answer this question? What about this? I have a new question. I'm, I'm, I have more knowledge now. Turn that data into information, into knowledge, into practice. I have new questions. I want to do this. I need this. These disparate data sources pulled together. Tell me the story. Answer these 10 questions. Right? Was a big, big piece in 2016. That was only in a few people's heads. You know, we were continuing to ask ourselves questions and be asked questions. How do we democratize that? How do I get this into the hands of the managers, the key stakeholders, those folks making decisions every single day in the trenches, in the 90 countries, fighting the fight out there, right, to ensure that those machines don't go down. And us as end consumers are, you know, continuing to use those. So, went on a journey with Tableau Server. How do we democratize our from single sources of the truth? Go here for this answer. Go here for what happened. Also, here's some guided analytics to say, why did it happen? Use the monitoring capabilities in there. Forecasting, what might happen in the future. Um, so all coming together to today, I'll have Peter and Prince share with you guys some of the stuff we're working